But first tonight, a drug epidemic has Indian Lake police pleading with residents to keep a closer eye on their neighborhoods. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. In our top story of 530, Rob Sneed sits down with a former heroin addict who has a warning for residents. The thing is that the drug use is in our community is getting younger and younger. You've got 15-year-old kids breaking into cars every night just so they can get heroin, and their parents don't know about it. And seeing this continue to flourish in his Indian Lake neighborhood is heartbreaking to this father of nine, Michael Ainsley. He knows just how devastating heroin can be. He's clean now, but there was a time he says heroin gripped his soul, and to this day he still carries the guilt from his past. The mistakes that I've made that you can't take back, I can't take back the pain I've caused other people. Like many addicts assaulting people and breaking into homes for money became a regular thing for Ainsley and still does for many users. Police Chief Rick Corr wants residents to be on the lookout, and that's exactly what Al Clark is doing. We're going to establish a, a group of folks who will be watching Orchard Island. We're going to quarter the island and have block captains reporting to me. In just two months, he's managed to recruit 30 members, and he hopes it continues to grow. Because it's going to come in their neighborhood. If I can get it out of Orchard Island, it may well turn up in their neighborhood, and I don't think they want it either. Since airing our first story about the heroin epidemic almost three weeks ago, some people have told me they felt it shined a negative light on Indian Lake. But land developer Bill Sum says business is good as usual, and his community is doing what they can do to keep things safe. Of course, uh, we're on guard it, it, wherever we go, and I, uh, we face this problem of crime and drugs. But we are being proactive as a community and working with it with the police department. And so is Ainsley. He has a message for those who are struggling to quit. You're worth it. You're worth change. Reporting at Indian Lake, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you. And Indian Lake police say they've seen heroin arrests go up 80% in the last two years.